What up guys, I'm White Light, and here's 10 tips and tricks that'll help you in Rust. Okay, so to start off, I'll show you one of the best places to hide stashes. Basically, it's putting it inside a fire where it's virtually invisible. Dunk, right there. And now, you can't actually see it physically. There's nothing in there. Except if you go up close to it, you'll get the search. If someone's raiding, they won't even take a second glance at that. It's just a fire. They're not even after wood. They're after your main stuff that'll be in your big chests. Um, you also want to be careful if you've got a campfire on top of a storage box um, and you put a little satchel on top of that, uh, like right that, you still can't see it, but the only problem is now you'll get heaps of little icons and it can become really confusing. So like click to access whatever fire or the box and you get the little satchel. So by accident, you can actually be opening up the wrong thing and the looter will still open the satchel even though he's just after the box and he'll still get exactly what he's after by accident. Secondly, is how to prevent people from putting foundations against your wall and building in. As you can see here, I can put a foundation in and build over the wall, no problem. If I get rid of this foundation and come over here and put down a spike wall on the building side, so this will be your house side, come back around, which is the outside, people can't actually put down foundations anymore, which is quite a nice little feature. Also, even if they do put C4 down now, they have to break through this wall and you have another line of defense, which will be the spike wall as well. Next is a bit of a glitch in the game. If you have the bow drawn and you want to switch to a weapon in your inventory, sometimes it jams up. As you can hear, I'm clicking number one and I can't switch to my pistol. If this is the case, left click your mouse as if you're going to draw and straight away pull out your weapon by pressing number one or whatever it's selected as. And there you go, works every time. Next is a good tip if you're going to try break down a door with grenades. Get a barricade and make sure you put it about three quarters of the way into the door so you can still get in at least. And now you can actually funnel all the grenades in and all the damage will go directly to the door. This will be most useful if the house is built on a slant or a hill. If you've got some extra wood lying around and want to make a trap or even just some extra defenses, you can use a ramp and some spikes. As you can see, the spikes are on top of the ramp and the spikes just pass through the ceiling where you can put one on top. Once you've placed them on top, you can see that the spikes barely make it through and if you walk over it, you'll actually get hurt. To cover up the tip of the spikes, just so they can't be seen, I put down a sleeping bag and you can still walk over it and get damaged without them being seen at all. Another little trick with this setup is, if you have a large wooden storage and you want to make it a bit more protected, you can put it just to the edge of the spikes and now if you go up to it, you'll get damaged and a good chance that they'll actually die. Something I've noticed is a lot of players still don't know that you can research a research kit. Normally you'd go up to a workbench and just click and drag onto an item. However, with a research kit, hold shift and drag it on top. Now you can research a research kit. Even though it might take a while to get two research kits, it's definitely worth it in the long run. A simple tip when placing down foundations to save resources is to always put down the highest foundation first. As you can see, you can build to the right of this foundation, but you can't build to the left at all. If you're building at the top of a hill, make sure to put the first foundation at the very peak of it. That way you can build to the left and right of it if you're going to expand out. As well as, when you're putting foundations further out, the foundation tool will actually accommodate for any height differences. If you're running around and you so happen to fall off a cliff and break a leg, simply bandage yourself up and disconnect the server. Once you've done that, you can simply rejoin the server and run around again as you won't have any broken legs. This is a good trick, although it's probably going to get patched really soon. If you're a fresh spawn and don't have any rad gear, going into any rad town to get good resources can be pretty dangerous. What I would suggest is, stay on top of hills and just shoot the animals in, which will come running right out for you. Animals have a good chance of dropping blueprints, as well as dropping radiation gear, which will help you get further into rad towns to find even better items. Once they've come out for you, you can simply shoot them out of the rad zone, collect your items, and head on your way back home. Ah, oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit! For the last trick, I'm going to show you something that everyone else seems to be saying to do one thing. However, I'm going to tell you guys to do the exact opposite. So basically, there's a hidden place where everyone seems to be building lately, and it's not here. Wait a second. Here it is. Uh, and everyone seems to build right there. Everyone goes for it, and everyone wants to get that spot. I'm going to say, don't build there, but raid it. I've raided people who keep building under there like four or five times and there's always heaps of resources in there. 
So don't build here, just come here to raid it. That's all I would ever do with that place there. Everyone knows about it now, and only the people who think that it's a great hiding spot will put a lot of resources in there, and you'll get to raid them. So have fun with this. Hope these tips have helped you guys, and I'll catch you next time. What is the person? This is the one! This is the one! This is the one! Oh, oh. Yes! Oh my god, dude! Alright, let's go. Come on, come on. The glitch in the game where if you have the board. The drawborn. Fuck. Tap the draw button on the right. Right on your mouse? Yeah. Fuck! Next is a bit of a. If this is the case, tap rice mouse button. Rice mouse button. Fuck's sake.